Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a lot of the instrumental parts to the Goosebumps theme song. And we're going to start off on an open D string, and then go to second fret on the D string, and then third fret on the D string, and then second fret on the G string, and then we go to second fret on the D string, and then third fret on the D string. So this cool little five thing where you're going D, E, F, A, E, F, D, E, F, A, E, F, D, E, F, A, E, F, D, E, F. There, our main theme comes in where you play open D and then we play third fret on the B string. We do that twice and then go to second fret on the B and then first fret on the B and then open B. So you're going D, 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 C sharp, C, B. It's kind of this little uh, a chromatic idea. And then there's this cool little harp hit where you could even think about like, kind of using the uh, strings above the nut, could be a cool idea. Or using like a little D minor arpeggio thing could be cool where if you take the first finger and kind of go to the 10th fret over the E, B, and G, you can almost kind of use that as kind of that little harp hit. And then from there we go to first fret on the D string to help lead back to our open D for kind of our main idea again. And then there's this cool little bass run that you could kind of work as kind of a pull-off lick idea where you play open D and then third fret on the D is a pull-off to the open D. 4th fret on the D as a pull-off, so I'm kind of playing the note and kind of letting my finger kind of pull off the string to get the sound to carry. And then we do that twice and then kind of go to 6th fret on the D, and then 4th fret on the D, and then 3rd fret on the D, and then 4th fret on the D. So you got 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 6, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. And then we go into this cool little bass run, and I'm cheating this a little bit just for ease of play, but you could kind of play open D and do a double hammer on the second and third fret on the D string. It's kind of like a 0, 2, 3 kind of, kind of hit. So I'm kind of playing open D, putting my finger down to carry the sound to second fret, and then putting my third finger down to carry the sound to the third fret. And then we could take first finger and then play the G string on the first fret for kind of that keyboard lick there. So it's kind of like taking a little piece of the bass lick and, and the keyboard lick and putting that together. And here's where I'm cheating, but this actually feels really good after you kind of get to the tempo. You play it and open again, and then we do a hammer on the third and fourth on the D string, and then go to second fret on the G string, and then we kind of do that same idea, but now going, going from fifth and sixth frets on the D string to the fourth fret on the G. So, it can be a cool way to kind of work that. And then from there we go back to first fret on the D, and then open D, and we start our main theme again. And it's almost like we're starting over again, because you actually kind of hear that little string hit where we could kind of do the harp idea. And then you're back one more time to that 0, 3, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then we do that same bass hit where we got the 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 4. And then we go into kind of a cool little tag where you can play third fret on the high E string, fourth fret on the high E string, first fret on the high E string, third on the high E string, and then four on the B string, first fret on the high E, third fret on the B, and then fourth fret on the B string. And then we can kind of do that again, kind of that three, four, one, three, four, one. Run it down to three, four on the B string, five on the G, three on the B, three on the G, five on the G, and then first fret on the G, and then open G. And then we almost kind of start that lick over again where we got the three, five, one, three, four, one, three, four, five, three, three, five, oh, one. And then from there we end up with this cool little tag to that where you play first fret on the G, open G. 3rd fret on the D, 3rd fret on the D, 1st fret on the D, open D, open D, and then 3rd fret on the A, and then 2nd fret on the A. So through that whole last part you kind of got this G, A flat, F, G, E flat, F, D, E flat, D, E flat, C, D, B flat, C, A flat, G, G, A flat, F, G, A flat, F, G, D, E flat, C, D, B flat, G, oh, 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 no, G, one. And then we go right into that tag where we have that one, oh, three, three, one, oh, oh, three, two. And then we kind of start over again. 
Now, one other way to kind of approach the tune is, is there are a couple spots where you may want to think about working bass notes, and actually this can get really, really tricky. And randomly, if you're really into this, actually what could be really cool is to kind of do a drop D tuning, where you kind of take your low E string and kind of tune it down to the low D. And then that whole first intro, actually, that uh, could kind of become almost like a, like a drop D thing. So everything we were doing on the D string, we can now do on the low D string. So you'd have a one, two, three, open A, two, three. Could be like a cool way to kind of work it through it. So then on that intro lick, you could even add in some extra basses. To kind of, kind of those licks. And then that first fret on the D string could now be the first fret over even the D, A, and D string. So kind of the low three strings, almost like a power chord thing. And then you can use it as kind of an open string put. And then that the hammer on lick that we're doing on the D string, you could make a low D lick. So you could kind of do 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 6, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. And I'm kind of doing that as kind of, kind of a, I'm using my, my fingers almost just flattened out straight across that low strings. Almost like one finger bars for kind of those chords. It could be a cool thing to do. And then we could kind of do that 03, 023 lick. And then the G string is kind of almost like a power chord idea. Actually, I'm using those same, that same drop D idea. string to that. And then when you kind of get that last part, if you're digging on the drop D, you could kind of play third fret on the low E string to get a G note when we come in on that first lick. So you have kind of five on the low E string with third fret on the high E string for that three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. And then you could kind of go sixth fret on the low E string to kind of get an A flat note for that next part, that three, four, five, three, three, five, one, O. Oh. And then you could go to second fret on the A string, kind of to start that lick over again, that three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, and then go back to that sixth fret for the three on the B, and then five, three, three, five, O, oh, one. And then we kind of got our main lick where we got the one, O, oh, three, three, one, O, oh, O, oh, three, two at the end. So that could be kind of a cool way to kind of kind of back it up. I think just kind of you can almost kind of get it that way too. <laughs> through that, yeah, you can kind of use that, that power chord idea through that last tag too. So the trickiest part I think is where, where you're kind of working the two notes together. And I'm doing that hybrid picking, kind of using my, my pick for my bass and my fingers for the other notes of the lick. Six and three. And then we could go into the main lick for that tag. Can I add in power chords too? Just another idea if you're kind of digging on that. Just think that that drop D idea could be a cool one to play around with through the tune. But that's the basics of how you could play the main theme from Goosebumps. So good luck!